I start by introducing the school. Where High School was opened in 1981. It is an enrollment of 600 students. Staff establishment is 34 and we offer a variety of subjects but due to some shortcomings we intend to introduce in the future uh, science subjects uh, such as biology, physics, chemistry, metalwork and woodwork. We have a total of 13 ordinary classrooms. But uh, after having discovered that uh, the, we have got shortage of classrooms, uh, the admin decided to actually locate say, a, a best room here, yeah, which is uh, almost 500 kilometers from the schoolyard. 500 so, meters? Uh, 500 meters. So some of our Form 1, the, the North class, which is our best class at this school uh, on, the, on, the, on the Form 1 stream, they have actually located in this uh, best room. So you find out that these students are actually disadvantaged in the case that uh, they are far away from others. And even their discipline, we find out that they are having some challenges. They cannot actually hear the ring of bells in terms of exchanging of uh, lessons and the likes. So some of the teachers, they actually try by all means to, 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 to support them here and there, but you find this becomes very, it becomes very difficult. We have also a laboratory. But the laboratory is not functional because it does not have equipment. And uh, we also have F and F block. There is a computer room. The F and F block does have some few functional machines. And quite a number require a repairing and also maybe there's need to acquire some few F and F machines. We have a computer room which is in place, but it is not up to standard. And we do have uh, computers that are in place. Computer studies is compulsory. Yeah, it's, it's a practical subject, which is compulsory, which means the 600 students we have. They all share these computers. And even if you look at the test that we have, we don't have a good test for computers, but we have just supplemented this by just having good tests that are used by our students in this class and this rooms. So, we have a challenge here. Right now, uh, other classes are not doing computers that this is simply because this will be used by those who are writing exam in public examination this week. So maybe to say they will start the course after soon after um, the completion of uh, public examinations. So the other classes will take over and start studying computers. So they will just do theoretical theory, theoretical um, part of the subject. Otherwise, practical subject will be done as soon after completion. Right, uh, actually we have uh, one printer that we that is uh, used here with the administration. So when these uh, students want to print, they have to go and uh, actually take that one, that printer which is used by the administration. Uh, then they print and return it back. So the whole school they share one, uh, one printer, a small one, a small kind of type of one. Uh, yeah. 
are no longer functional, they were donated to the school long back by the Ministry of Education and uh, they require uh, repairing, which actually is proving to be costly. Maybe the best way forward could be to acquire modern uh, computers. There is also need to be connected to internet so that our members of staff and the students can also benefit from this very important facility. We do have an agricultural unit uh, which is user friendly only to Form 1 and Form 2, the JC level. There is a library at our school. But the state is not user friendly in that there is shortage of furniture. There are no shelves for the textbooks. Uh, this is our library, actually. You can see these are shelves. These are shelves. Different are textbooks. This is the of uh, that's a very small library indeed. We have got several of our students who are actually using this library. We have some who know how to share some form of good organ tests, which is repair. So we found out that some of, some of our students are actually sitting down simply because they put a shortage of uh, chairs and desks. So we are actually trying to repair this one. We've got our carpenter who always come to repair this, but this time around because of the notion of finance, we're actually experiencing some hardship. Uh, actually, we have enrolled in here stretches to some like 600 students. So 600 uh, students are sharing this small number. 600 students are sharing this small number. And the major issue is that there is a shortage of textbooks, or library books that students can borrow from the librarian. Um, library medu nyebutinema resources no ma show ma books tinema e parisif wa bana ba for all for all forms form one up to six ma bugwe tano pori wa chiringa wa muno kana to ba bere ngo arba dzere wa muno tinema tine nyebuti bana bana fara ku bere ngo zvakanyanya asi ma pesters hapana angari po ama tsaro most of them are tattered and then I uh, sat a bind you. My mother bind you. I sat a sugar so it's no tear she wrote in it. I wanted to travel on the bus. I remember books. My new one. A panny Aripo for safe again. Panny my newspapers. They are not like this. I'm not for current information in the digital. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Finch and uh, a library of home accommodated about four five students. At one space, we talk about it up to see this, but we have to finish the show. We have to get the final posters and demands. We have to categorize the quality. We have to say human resources, so we have to say that, so we have to say that, so entertainment, science, education, entertainment, sports, international affairs, local affairs, science and agriculture. We have to say that.
Type my books and the kind of another mentioned the my peer setters. As the penny my books, a H. Corrosion, the kind of my subjects, and it's up and up. You are your agamia, I report away. Aban? Ah, I watch a body safe. I must show my so good peer subject to go on a penny two. One six sides. Four four. Only two. Two books. Satish Taka one day will ask of my twins. Mm -hmm. So, I'm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And A level, you see. And A level, each each one books. No, at least I'm old ones. For A level, it's a bigger challenge. Ah, it's a big So, we intend to, if possible, to, to have those who can assist us in acquiring a library books which can be used by our students. In this case, we are referring to books that can be used by Form 1 up to A level. But the structure of the position or the structure of the library is quite okay. If I can also move on to staff accommodation. We have a total of 15 teachers' houses, but considering a number of 34 members of staff which we have currently, it may be you would require additional houses for members of staff, maybe two more or three, maybe it would be a way of alleviating the problem. In terms of water su supply, we have a good water supply. We are supplied by Zinwa, and uh, there's good water. Plus, also, we have a bowl which was donated to the school by Africa. So in terms of water supply, I think we are quite okay. I can move on to short-term projects. Uh, we intend to have or to build two houses for staff, and I'm sure the SDC are going to assist us on this one. On renovations, we intend to renovate to have the flows of quite a number of our classrooms they are no longer user friendly to have those flows repaired and also the painting of the classrooms nearly all of the classrooms the, the inner part and the outside so that they can be more user friendly and a little bit attractive <laughs> In terms of furniture, we have a critical shortage of furniture at our school and quite a number of the furniture is broken and requires uh, repairing. At the same time, if it was also important that we can also acquire new furniture which can be used by students in the classroom, especially at A level, they would maybe require furniture which is of um, a higher standard. If I can move on to the library, uh, as I've indicated on that, the condition of the library itself is okay, but there's a critical shortage of library books which can be used by our Form 1 up to A level students. And the need to have the shelves where the books can be actually pegged. Uh, still under short-term projects, we intend to acquire, if we can also have furniture for the computer room. That can also assist in making sure that our computers are kept in a good state and students can use them. 
a more in a more friendly atmosphere. Let me move on to the medium term projects. Since I have indicated that we now have A level, we still have a shortage of classrooms that can accommodate our A level students. That is the Form 5 and Form 6 students. We still need a, maybe two blocks to accommodate the two levels. A, we do have a library, I mean a laboratory, but that one is at the present moment for ZJC. Although again for ZJC we still have a problem of furniture in that laboratory and there is no equipment that can even be used by the ZJC students. We should follow to say that even up to level. Not because they are doing sense uh, lessons, but I. What could be? What with the G? What was the Muno? No, it would be from here. Which is not supposed to be like that. The Muno can get a cinema, Mikira, Matebos, I am not there. You see, an ammon and one guy, any Haki Panic at Santia. How many students do you have uh, that do science subjects? Students, do you have that? Four students that are here. About 600 from students. A, from form from, from one up to form four, it's about 600 students. But I run to put a science age. All right. So I have to do it now. To do it to write a science level, just because we have an office in the Chimichin Gate Regiment, some chemicals. She showed my trauma to the national. Today, you know, this is all what we have. This is the only things that we have. Say we happen to get to to get uh, somebody to donate or to assist somebody to help, right? We do need uh, the structure that is in the that room. Mm -hmm. Structure is this room. Have a zero work. We put our tables. I can make a chart. We analyze. We go and see. So it's a science. I want to room here. Then just so that we can keep chaos. I cut all. Cut one day. We just now we are in the market. We see why. We need this game because I got one day we have a list of Godzilla, we have a list of Godzilla, but this year, you know, we have a lot of money. We don't have the apparatus. We don't have the apparatus. And also for my A-level students, I'm starting to get some uh, signs. Because we don't have the apparatus. So we don't have the, any signs that are being offered at A-level. We are only doing integrated science. We are not doing biology. We are not doing uh, physical science. Neither are we doing chemistry or physics because we don't have the apparatus. So, in actual fact, we can say we don't have the science level. And actually, it won't be surprising that uh, there are no scientists that come from Buyera. <laughs> that is a real situation. <laughs> science is a subject that needs a hands on approach. True. So the data so they tower now apparatus and equipment. Right but uh ne could be what could we tell my science teachers or my scientists move the world yet to Ram. Right to Basra to Anavi do a true but teacher. But since you actually want some to September, ma would be scientists. True. True. So that right. we go to Chemo with a this last writer of Anak. Right. We still need to have a laboratory that can be used by the all-level students 
and we still need to acquire furniture that can be used by those students and the lab equipment to be used again by the students up to all level. That again on its own would also indicate, since we have also indicated that we intend to introduce science subjects, mm -hmm. maybe that laboratory would need to be equipped so that our students to be enrolled who intend to do physics, biology and chemistry can find it easier if the, the laboratory is well equipped. We also intend to have a geography room which we don't have at the present moment and an A-level a Greek block. It's good to note that we have introduced the A-level agriculture which actually on its own is a science subject. So it actually requires a well-equipped laboratory. So we are appealing for assistance, especially in the area of uh, a laboratory, which is well-equipped in the area of uh, a school library, in terms of the textbooks, the shelves, furniture, and in terms of the computer lab, uh, acquiring new computers and furniture for the computer lab. We are also uh, kindly asking for assistance in the area of textbooks, especially those to be used for reference by members of staff. We are facing a critical shortage in this area, especially with members of staff who teach up to A-level. They are complaining that they are not finding textbooks which are up to standard for reference. So we are appealing for assistance in those areas. It is good to note that at the present moment, despite all the challenges that we are facing, just they are for building examinations, public examinations. So if you look at them closely, you discover that uh, they are actually not um, um, impressive structures. You look at the bricks they were using, they just but ordinary bricks. Um, even if you look at the mortar which was used, it doesn't have cement. Even if you look at some of the structures, uh, they, these guys they were actually short or running short of you know street level. So some of them they are actually not as straight as they should be. They are actually disadvantaged already. Even if you look at the, the structures on the closing, they are disadvantaged. Even if the examiners they come in the market, uh, as compared to other schools, they've got better structures as compared to this one. Mm -hmm. These are our staff room, where our members of staff stay. You know, if, you, if you would happen to look at this, uh, let's show you what they are showing of chairs. So the member of staff has decided actually to tie it right on the desk so that the member can take it out from, from this place. So again, if you are able to look here, this side again, um, still you will be looking at the chairs, the type of chairs that we have for members of staff. Uh, they actually no longer go to a condition, as you can see them. Right arm, and if you are able to look at that far corner. Uh, the, the, the room actually doesn't look like a, a room that actually stays in members of the staff. Respected members of the staff, should I say, mm -hmm. we have a broken chairs right in the corner here. So that's what the staff should be. It's just a very poor room, should I say. I was expecting to see some cupboards where the teachers would then file their, their documents and books. Right, uh, we were supposed to have those cupboards uh, for textbooks and exercise books, but unfortunately, we don't have even the same one. The only one that we have uh, is what we used with the administration. And um, so we have actually a problem of storage of textbooks, exercise books for the kids in the house. Mm -hmm. So if, if you can see, there are no charts, there are no, there's no uh, labels and the likes, except for this one spot. We have the calendars, and the calendar of events, uh, the actual rosters, and the likes of the members of staff. Just by the poor um, admin, when you see the ceiling, even the nice thing, we don't have gloves, no gloves. And then you see, you are going to come closer, just to see that the ceiling is no longer in a better condition. Uh, there are some legs on the roof, and you see, 
the roof needs to be a pad. The roof needs to be a pad. That's all, that, that, that's all I can say about this. Um, and teachers are not resorting. The members of staff, the 27 members of staff, um, more than 27 members of staff, they are sharing this room. So at the end of the day, we try to find out that we take sheets, we share these tables. When someone has gone out for a lesson, we take chance. When someone is back, it means you also have to leave the room again. That's even this room. It used to work in the old days, but it's very unfortunate that because of the conditions, we can no longer afford to buy um, no ingredients for tea. So there's no break. We have to go back home at break time to have our breakfast. But do you have running water here? Yeah, we do have running water. Right. Even if you come closer, we have running water. All right. Uh, this side of the tea. Yeah, the running water. It's very unfortunate today we don't have water. Over there, you can see that be, that, that dilapidated uh, building. It's just uh, the, that was our toilet. So, if you happen to look there, we've got very few toilets. Well, this one for the, the for the, is a third block, but unfortunately, we're having almost two um, blocks with the four or the four walls, which is actually saving 600 people. So, we are running short of these uh, toilets. Mm -hmm. The school has produced remarkable results at both A level and O level. For example, last year the school scored 20% at O level, which actually considered the schools surrounding us, the percentage was actually very high. And at A level, the pass rate was 92%, which actually was quite crazy. So we are appealing to well wishers that if possible, you might assist us so that the learning at Gorilla High School can be more friendly, maybe in line with the laboratory at all level, the school library, the computer lab, and in a number of other spheres that can make learning more uh, attractive to our students. Thank you.